Oh shit. Goddamn Ben 10 is back. One of the fucking characters had to make it over to Naruto. He wasn't making enough money over there being that I think the show is uh pretty much over. I think they might do another um series though. I hope so, cause that was one of my favorite shows. Anyway, I guy is on here. Fucking I guy, one of the aliens, he's on here. Anyway, um Savada confronts uh 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 Sasuke. He basically just told to get the fuck out of my face. I hate kids. I hate you. And I hate, uh, um, uh, 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 and I hate, uh, Jesus. So I hate you and I hate God. Some shit like, y'all seen the damn episode when they was talking about the boom, I mean, the boom docs were talking about the Tyler Perry shit. He said, and I hate Jesus. He said, I'm black and bald, so I hate women. I hate Jesus or some shit like that. Anyway, um, she asked him, what was he doing out for so long? And how come he doesn't come see her and whatnot? And he said, that's none of your fucking business. He said, now get the fuck out of here before I slap the living shit out of you. Anyway, she leaves crying. Oh, my God, my dad doesn't love me. Oh. She did the whole fucking Will Smith thing. She said, get out with him. That shit, that, that scene, that scene, when the dad walked out, that's what she did. She said, all right, to hell with him. That shit. Anyway, um, we get a flashback. Come to find out. Sasuke had a hunch that uh, because the white Zetsu, uh, I think he was implying that they might have predated Kaguya. And that's why he feels like who was behind the white Zetsu at that point. That's what I, I believe that's, what is, that's what's implied. He said the white Zetsus are ancient. He says, so who's be, it's to be somebody else behind that shit, right? Well, if it wasn't Kaguya, is he saying that it predates Kaguya? That's what I believe. He said, so who was in charge at that point? Also, uh, Cole brought this up. I brought this up. Kaguya was building an army. An army for what? You already taken over the entire planet. So what's the, uh, um, the army for? My thought was a different planet or a different dimension. To take over something else. The Juby might have been brought to Earth to take over something. I don't know. Or just to build an army or whatever. But anyway, um, uh, they reveal who this Akatsuki guy is. He said he wants to start the Akatsuki up again. That type of thing, they, that, that part was kind of weird for me. Like, why would you want to start the Akatsuki? The Akatsuki is not ancient, if I'm not mistaken. It was started by um, Payne's board. Well, I can't remember what his name is. Yahiko or y Yahiko or some shit like that. And so I don't think it's ancient. Um, what would be the benefit of being the Akatsuki again? I mean, they've already been wiped out for what? I mean, what, 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 what's the benefit? I mean, having an organization is one thing. But this organization sort of closed that off. I thought we was all capitalists. Free enterprise, you dig? But this organization is sort of closed that off. I mean, but starting the organization would be all right. But why would it be the Akatsuki? That kind of, that shit was weird to me. But anyway, turns out the Shin are um, clones. They, they're basically stormtroopers. That's what they are, they're stormtroopers. But what I think it is, is check this out. He had the same... Sharingan as Shin. So I believe that there are clones of him. So he's not a mixed breed. He's just a clone. But if that's the case, why does he have white hair? Or I believe it to be white. Why would he have white hair? If that's the case, the dude that he's a clone of, which I believe is his, his eye guy, with the bald head and got the shit like Donzo, and Donzo may have may reveal. I mean, it may be revealed that Donzo figured out how to do the whole arm shit and Uchi, I mean, trucking shit all over him from ancient rituals or whatever, from some type of pony glyph or whatever. It might be tied to this guy, whatever the fuck. Anyway, um, if they're clones of him, he's bald. Did he have white hair at one point and he was an Uchiha? You understand? The white hair Uchiha might be an ancient fucking Uchiha's or some shit like that. I don't know. Maybe so. I don't know. I don't I don't know whether we're going to find out or not. Anyway, Sarada walks out. Guess who goes over there to console her? 
fucking Naruto. Sasuke stayed inside like, fuck the bitch. You know, that type of deal. Just that whole type of, he didn't even give a fuck. Anyway, he got revealed to be the asshole he is. Uh, Naruto goes to help her. Shin and uh, I guy come down to attack from above. And Sas Sakura's on her way. Sakura's not going to do a goddamn thing. She could probably help heal some people. That'd be it. She doesn't seem like she progressed since the war. I mean, come to think about it, she's been taking care of Sarada. It doesn't look like she's been on any type of missions or anything like that. She's going to be a piss poor ninja. Uh, Sasuke and Naruto seem to have stepped up. I think they're probably stronger, you know, now than when they were back then. It just seems to, because uh, Sasuke still has the Renegade. He's tracking, so he's using the Renegade capabilities. Uh, Naruto, you, as you've seen, when he pulled out the uh, Nine Tails or whatever, it seemed like he got better control over the QB than when he did back then. So I'm guessing he's probably more powerful. I don't see where the training came from. Maybe they're just training, because I don't see them going on missions that challenges them. You know, that type of deal. But... Here's what people uh, are kind of uh, on the fence about. It's like they bring in this ancient guy out of the blue and, you know, where the fuck did this come from and shit like that. And this is the next uh, 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 um, enemy is going to be somebody from the past that we just didn't know about that just pulled out the ass. I don't think it's that. Think about it like this. They revealed Kaguya, who Kaguya we already knew was part of the Naruto story. She was beaten. But before she was beaten, we it was revealed she was starting an army. Not only that, she used to be good and went evil. Something happened. Now, we could have taken it as she went evil because absolute power corrupts absolutely. But... If the story goes the way it's going now, that might not be the case. So what corrupted her? Who made her corrupt? Maybe this ancient person who this dude I got might not be, he might be working for him, um, could have been the one to make her go evil. Not only that, like I said, the, the army is for another planet or another dimension or something like that. You know, so... She could, Kaguya could have just been a general in this big ass army. Who knows? It can go, it can go high up like it did with Frieza and Vegeta and sh shit like that with the Saiyans and Vegeta. And Vegeta. So, they could fuck up this whole ancient evil thing. They, don't get me wrong, it's a slippery slope. But if they pull it off right and they're able to reveal what exactly happened to Kaguya and, uh, you know, where the Juby came from and why they came to Earth and why things were, you know, are the way they are in the Naruto verse, it could be a good thing. I'm hoping for that. I'm hoping for the latter. You know, it would make sense. And plus, like I said, they left off inconclusive, inconclusive with the um um the whole Kaguya thing. So this could be the chance to explain that and, and rectify things. So if it turns out correctly, it would be a good thing. I'm giving this chapter a five out of five. It was good. It, it, it's like I said, it's a slippery slope because some shit, some bad shit could happen and behind, you know, the explanation of what's going on and it'll fuck the story up. But if they pull it off right, it'll be the opposite. It could go either way. But this chapter here right now, good reveal. You know what I'm saying? Revealing that Sasuke's still an asshole. That was good. You know, uh, uh, the ancient evil leaves the, the door open for revealing, you know, the, you know how Kanye happen to turn evil and all that other good shit. It could, it could reveal a lot of good shit about what's going on in the story, if done correctly. Anyway, go ahead, leave your comments, like the video, and subscribe, because I can't eat. I'm broke, nigga. I'm broke, and you got the power to change that. Peace.